to for Lucia Machado. The powerhouse Yolanda Hopkins up against the youngster Lucia Machado. It's going to be really interesting to watch. Right now, no scores on the score line. The girls are waiting patiently to pick the right waves. A bit of current still here in Anglet, but with the incoming tide, it's going to get better and better. We should watch some uh, amazing surfing uh, all the way through the afternoon. Lucia Machado surfing in the Canaries. No stranger to a pretty good result, especially in the junior series. And I was telling you no waves called, but something has been surfed in the first minute. We're going to watch the replay pretty soon. I'm not telling you the score yet. Well, let me tell you as we are seeing the score on the screen. Yolanda Hopkins just called a nine point on her first opening wave of this hit. So can't wait to watch the replay. Amazing so far, Yolanda, such a warrior, so powerful. She's going to be one really, really tough to beat in this event, especially with those conditions. Unfortunately for Lucia Machado, hearing the 9.0 from Yolanda must hurt a little bit. Right, let's enjoy the replay of this first ride. Yolanda Hopkins, ladies and gentlemen, for a 9.0 with a huge re-entry single maneuver. Let's watch again from this angle and see the difficulty and the risk taking from the Portuguese surfer. She knows she did something pretty nice and adding a lot of pressure from the beginning of the hit on the shoulders of Lucia Machado in blue. So it's not a matter of how many maneuvers you, you're going to make in those w on those waves, but just the quality of the maneuvers and how strong you're going to hit the leap. This is something the other surfers should take account. I'm sure they did. As we see on the screen, Yolanda making her way back to the outside. Seems like the current has slowed down a little bit. Much better conditions than uh, this morning. Easier, I mean. Now the surfers are going to paddle back to the north on the right part of your screen. Some nice and cleaner conditions right now. Mostly right-handers. Looks like there is a wave on approach. And Lucia Machado up and riding on this one. First wave of the hit for her. Beautiful first maneuver. Tight surfing, so spicy. Yes. We're going to watch a beautiful hit in between those two ladies. Lucia, obviously, a bit less powerful than uh, Yolanda Hopkins, but super aggressive. Very explosive surfer. So two different style of surfing, but two excellent surfers. And the first one of Lucia comes out as a 6.5, so she's still in the game. And now those girls need to, to back up those big scores with another one to make sure to join the, the semi-final uh, probably tomorrow. Beautiful first tight turn. And straight away on the second one. So managing to uh, combo those two turns in a small pocket. Beautiful technique. Nice control. What a first exchange between those two ladies. 9.4 for Yolanda in red, 6.5 for Lucia Machado in blue. Remembering you that in the first quarterfinal, 
We had Anat Lelior scoring huge scores, making her way to the semi final. She's, ha she's actually uh, leading the scores with a total of 16 point something. Will Yolanda Hopkin get the best of this competition and uh, back up her nine point with another big score to, 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 to have the best total of the day? So Lucia Machado decided to uh, paddle in front of those rocks to get back in position, but it's going to be tight. I think she will leave. Yes, that's it. Go all the way to the beach, run to the other side of the beach, and then make her way back to the outside by paddling. Strong current today in Anglet. Not easy conditions. But those surfers are well prepared physically. As we watch here, Yolanda on the second wave, a little bit mistiming, a bit late on this takeoff. We saw the wave moving, shaking a lot. And now Lucia Machado will have to run a few hundred and fifty meters on the sand. I can tell you the legs uh, are burning right now. She's may maybe talking to her coach at this time also. The people are loving the show today here in Anglet, supporting those surfers, shouting and uh, adding a bit more support to the to those surfers. Pretty sure everyone watching from the Canaries Island, Lucia Machado, crossing fingers for her. So physical to run like that on the sand. Then she'll have to, to paddle all the way back to the outside. Well, still plenty of time, 16 minutes and 15 seconds. Being a local here would have run all the way on the other side of this pier because the current then takes you so fast on the left. But let's hope Lucia will make it to the outside without any problem. Uh, Yolanda Hopkins in red, up and riding on a funky wave. Ah, unfortunately for her, the wave doesn't does not open. She will improve <laughs> her backup score with a 1.6. And now Lucia Machado needing a 4.11. But at this stage of this, of this hit, we have to wait for a second good score for those surfers to be ridden before giving you a real situation. And we can see now the surfer in blue trying to stay as close to the rocks as possible, making a way to the to the outside, as we do have someone with Caroline on the mic for the interview. I guess it's the winner of the last hit, Ariane Ochoa. Hey guys, I'm here with Ariane, winner of the last hit. Uh, you had a pretty good hit out there. Looks like your strategy from this morning worked out again, taking out the big waves, doing big turns on the maneuver. You had great scores. How do you feel? Yeah, I start uh, quickly the heat, that is what I want always, and after try to, to get better waves. And yes, I have been trying to do that. I get two sixes and I have in my mind to get a, a better wave, but I was waiting, waiting with the prior, and I didn't show a really good wave, so I I keep the prior to be sure that Mafalda was, uh, was not catching the wave that I wanted. Yeah, we saw till the end of the heat that you kept the priority and even used a bit of strategy right at the end so she couldn't start on a wave and uh, she had to take off. So it worked out pretty well. Yes, like I'm more in the last minute is important to, in this case, like take the prior to, to use it because Mafalda is a really good surfer and she, she could 
uh, have done a really good turn in that way. So I used my prior, uh, I did my strategy. Yeah, but that's a contest, that's how it works. Do you want to say a few words in uh, Spanish for all the fans watching you? Bye. Bueno, este año salí tengo gusto hoy es que ricasco de gusto a ti que está me suave el chagatik. Nada, todos los que estáis en casa, muchísimas gracias por apoyar siempre y, y mandar mensajes de apoyo. Seguimos. <laughs> gracias, Ariane. Out to the, all the uh, Spanish uh, fans, uh, great surfing there from. Uh, Surfer in blue, as he's got like a new generation following, carrying the board. And uh, in that heat three of the quarterfinals, it's still uh, Yolanda Hopkins in the lead. And uh, what a lead with the best score so far of the event. Uh, man of the man of and the, the woman with a nine point. Uh, just uh, on the first wave. So again, perfect uh, way to, to start a heat. Uh, no backup uh, for Yolanda and uh, Lucia Machado, the Canarian, she's sitting on a 6.5. So still in contention, but uh, as soon as Yolanda is gonna get her backup, it's gonna be a, a big requirement. Camilla Kemp warming up for a quarterfinal Number three, she will be uh, against uh, Tessa Thyssen, the French surfer. A big hit ahead of her. Tessa Thyssen uh, back from injury and uh, her surfing coming back slowly. And it'll be an interesting matchup. 11 minutes and uh, 51 seconds remaining. Bit of, uh, of a lull in the action. Format usually uh, woman on woman gets things a little bit slower than on the format of four surfers. Can imagine why? But there's still plenty of wave to be caught as we see uh, Lucia Machado first turn, not really getting anything done on that wave. She's uh, probably not gonna be too happy with uh, that performance because there was potential but always difficult to pick the right wave on those beach breaks. Positioning is key. You gotta navigate, get that uh, bit of a oceanic feeling. As we see Yolanda Hopkins, she's in the prime positioning. She got time on hand to get a, a, a backup. I mean, she's only sitting with on a 1.6, so that's a takeoff. Anything better than a complete takeoff will improve her uh, uh, scoring. Officially, uh, we'll go through the quarterfinal of the women and we'll go through the uh, quarterfinal of the men right after uh, hit four of uh, the women. And we'll keep the, the semi-finals and the finals for tomorrow. As Roma was saying, with all his uh, local knowledge, we'll have uh, some uh, maybe smaller but cleaner conditions and there'll be a, a big uh, Saturday of surfing here in Anglais with quality waves already uh, a crowd but expect uh, that crowd to uh, multiply uh, through the the weekend sunshine still summer in the southwest of France girls and boys are you know trunking it or sh shorty we had the incredible hot summer Water is about 23, 24, so nearly tropical conditions. As we have uh, the two surfers on screen trying to maintain their positioning, there's uh, been a lot of current on the lower tide as Yolanda Hopkins opting for another good selection and what a way to serve that wave. She knew from the beginning that's what the, the judges are after. One big maneuver doesn't need to be two or three average. They want a surfer to go big straight off 
the takeoff right after the bottom turn, and she does that really well. So from, from Portugal, good on her footing, strong legs, just making sure she go, goes down the face and, uh, and ended that uh, single turn. So that's going to pay off and uh, probably send uh, Lucia Machado, might send her in the combo land, requiring uh, two wave total. We'll see what uh, Lucia can do on that one. First, nice hack. The second one, eye in that inside section, and maybe getting a fourth now. That's good surfing. But uh, different style and different strategy uh, when you compare to uh, Yolanda, uh, where Yolanda has been picking the set wave and just going mental, like big on that uh, incoming lip. So one single move, but what a commitment from uh, Yolanda as... Uh, Lucia has been picking wave with more an open face. Couple of turns, but nothing major. So that's probably going to show in the under score line. Yolanda earning a 5.33 for her last wave. So Lucia Machado has still the door open. Now she, she needs a 7.84. She's sitting on a 6.5. She needs to improve on a 2.4, but she really needs to go on a set wave and unleash her surfing to, to reach the excellent mark, 7.84. With her last wave, doesn't change her requirement. It's a 4.5. So uh, with six minutes, just under seven minutes uh, remaining in the heat free, uh, Yolanda, very much in control, as you see, uh, those uh, set wave and loading at the back. That's going to be promising uh, for the remaining of the action today with that uh, feeling tide. We're going to have that inside uh, bank working, that right-hander that uh, shows some big score in the morning. We had the low uh, tide around uh, 11, as we see Tessa Thyssen getting ready to enter the water. She'll be carrying the red jersey. Another talented heat. She's already happy. That's a good result, a quarterfinal finish in that uh, the biggest uh, so far uh, WQS of the, the season. We had plenty of 1,000 contest back uh, in Galicia a couple of months ago and then uh, the girls that moved uh, to uh, to England and uh, they had the Lacano and uh, for that French leg after Lacano now it's back to Anglet and uh, for that first 3000 point uh, 3000 points uh, WQS so important uh, stop for the European surfers they want to get a result here as uh, Lucia Machado is opting for that uh, left see what she can do a nice turn good control and fortunately falling that might not be counted as a complete by the judging tower we really got to show uh, that you're fully in control from the beginning to the very end of that wave. So she needed to really push uh, in front of that white water. Four minutes, 30 seconds. Last of uh, Lucia Machado. Reminder, judging tower is uh, five judges. Every score is uh, taking uh, the average of uh, three scores. They're dropping the lowest uh, score, the highest score, and uh, the three remaining are average to give you the, the score. As we see uh, Yolanda again on a nice set wave, she really 
pushing on that bottom turn to make sure she rides on the face of the wave with full speed. It's uh, a nice turn, but uh, probably not going to improve on a, on a 5.33. So, very much in control again. That was a bit of a, the warm-up prior to that heat. Getting some cheers from the fellow competitors. And that single turn from Yolanda Hopkins earning her a nine point, but well deserved. Just really pushing the limit. The commitment is there in the critical part of the wave as Lucia Machado was uh, more on the safe side. Just getting some nice turns, but nothing close from the commitment from uh, Yolanda. And that's what the, the judges are rewarding today and rewarding to, uh, to, to, to reach those top uh, spots in, uh, in the WQS Tour. Getting busy, Yolanda, she wants more. And she doesn't want, or maybe she wants to close the door on uh, Lucia Machado. They're struggling again. It's difficult condition. Yeah. You need to really to adapt. And here again, a uh, clever wave selection from Yolanda. A similar wave from uh, her nine point, but uh, probably not with the, the same commitment, but enough for a 5.33 and uh, probably to secure a well-deserved win for the Portuguese. Lucia Machado is trying to fight back but she lost control on that last section so she didn't get uh, the score but Yolanda was keeping busy, keeping on the set wave and uh, that's probably what's gonna take her to the semi-final. So we'll see more of Yolanda, not today, Roman, but uh, Yolanda will be back uh, tomorrow because we'll be running semis and final tomorrow. Keep uh, you know the cherry on the cake for, for the Saturday crowd and some, as you said, cleaner, smaller condition, but uh, probably cleaner. Uh, Yolanda is... She's nailing all these, those re-entry. She's uh, at uh, full confidence, right? Yes, and right now uh, we do have a first semi-final. We do have Noah An Anat Lelior up against Ariane Ochoa. Uh, yep, that's uh, correct. It's a full goofy affair. And then here in the second semi-final, we're going to have a forehand on those right-handers. Yolanda Hopkins, let's see who will uh, join her in this second semi-final. Will it be Tessa Tyson or Camilla Camp? Yeah, and uh, no, good last effort from uh, Lucia Machado. She had a bit of a fist pump on that uh, re-entry, but um, comparing to the uh, nine point and obviously the 5.33 from Yolanda, I wouldn't think that just enough to get that 7.84 and she probably knows it so um, a win for Yolanda will be taking a, a short break and uh, will be back for uh, Tessa against Camilla in the last quarter final of the heat stay tuned we'll be b right back in a few seconds Summer, we've missed you. Rip curl. Hop, hop, hop. Hey, vous là -bas.
Hop, hop Hé, hey, vous là-bas And we're back. We're back with that, those swell lines in Anglet. Plenty of swell on offer.